Oh, nice. Do you? Yeah. Would you like the blue tie to match? Very nice, yeah. Very Scottish on tie today. Yes. Actually, I'm Welsh, not I'll Scottish. <laughs> Hello. Today on Alphabet Zoo, we've reached the letter R. R. That could be for rattlesnake or rabbit or rhinoceros. Yes, it could be. But the animal I've chosen for today's story is very special. He always reminds me of Christmas. It's rougher reindeer. All oh, right. Oh, of course, there's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> well, actually, our reindeer is Rudolph's son, Robert. So, for the letter R, R, here's the story of Robert the Reindeer. Now, Robert wasn't just any reindeer. He was the son of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Young Robert was just like his dad, but smaller, of course. He even had a little red nose. Not long after Christmas, the snow melted, the stream began to splash down the hillside, and soon everywhere was green. All the animals in the wood felt the warm sunshine and smiled. Now was the time to visit friends. Ferdy Fox swished his beautiful tail. I'll call upon Robert the reindeer, he thought, now that the Christmas rush is over. Ferdy padded through the wood to where the reindeer herd were grazing. Hello, Robert, he called. Don't you think my brush is looking particularly smart this morning? Oh, hi, agreed Robert politely. You certainly are good looking. Kind of you to say so, Robert. You're growing up to be a fine animal yourself. And you almost look like your dad. What do you mean, almost? asked Robert. I do look like him. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, you do have a very well-groomed coat and you are fit and strong, but... I'm afraid there's something missing. You seem to be lacking headgear. I mean, you've no antlers. So, I'm not exactly like my dad, said Robert slowly. Afraid not. He has a pair of antlers almost as fine in their way as my brush. And Ferdy twitched his tail to make it even bushier. You've only got tiny spiky horns on your head. What can I do? asked Robert sadly. Father Christmas won't let me pull a sleigh next Christmas if I don't have proper antlers like the rest of the reindeer. Ferdy frowned. Here's an idea, Robert. Let's find some branches that have fallen off a tree and fix them to your spikes so they look just like antlers. So they searched until they found some twisted branches and Ferdy fixed them onto Robert's head. Really, Robert looked very odd indeed. One piece of wood pointed over his shoulder and the other stuck out to one side. I'll show the others, said Robert, and holding his head very still, he walked carefully back to the reindeer herd. Dressing up, dear, that's nice, remarked his aunt. Now run and play with the others. Robert began to run, but his wooden antlers fell off. He was very fed up and went to find Ferdy. I can't wear wooden antlers. They fall off when I run. What else can I do? Ferdy thought again, then said, Perhaps they'll grow if you wrap them up and keep them warm. It might just work, Robert sighed. They both searched the edge of the woods for something to wrap round Robert's spikes. Hey, look what I found, called Ferdy. Two leftover Christmas stockings. Come on, put them on. Robert pulled the brightly coloured socks onto his spikes. He did look funny. The two socks weren't even the same. <clears throat> mm, different, that's for sure, <laughs> coughed Ferdy politely. Several of his cousins laughed as he passed. Oh, look at Robert, how funny. Perhaps he's going to sock us one, giggled Roland Reindeer, or even tell us to put a sock in it. <laughs> And his antlers shook as he laughed. Uh, drying your washing, dear? Asked a short-sighted aunt. Robert was so pink with embarrassment that his red nose hardly showed. He shook his head until the socks fell off and then he threw them away. Now I'll never be able to pull the sleeve of Father Christmas, sniffed Robert, and a tiny tear trickled from his eye. Come on, said Ferdy. Let's go and ask your dad why you haven't got any antlers. He'll know. The two friends ran back to the reindeer herd. Dad, sobbed Robert, his nose redder than ever. I'm so miserable. Tell me about it, son, said Rudolph, and he smiled as he listened to his young son. Ah, oh, I 
see, he nodded when Robert had finished. Now, just look at Ferdy's brush. He didn't have a fine and bushy brush when he was young. It only grew as he got older. Little reindeer have little antlers, but they'll grow. And I'll tell you a secret. Robert and Ferdy crowded closer to Rudolph to listen. Very soon now, all of our antlers will fall off. They always do at this time of year. Soon, all your aunts and cousins will look just like you. Then you'll grow new, even bigger antlers, ready for next Christmas. Gosh, Robert, said Ferdy, then you'll look just like your dad. <laughs> well, laughed Rudolph, it'll take a few years before Robert has very big antlers, but this Christmas, You'll be old enough to help Father Christmas pull his sleigh and deliver all the presents. <gasps> Thank you, Dad, said Robert. And the first present I'll deliver will be to Ferdy. Oh, gosh, said Ferdy. We better go and find those Christmas stockings. I think I'll be needing them after all. Our, puppets. Our first three pictures are all from the same school, and uh, that's Westerthorpe, uh, Newcastle upon Tyne, Bonham First School. And uh, this first one here is by Jonathan Humes and Rebecca McMullen and Vicky McParlin. And you can see the grass move. Look. See that? Mm. And back here we've got uh, two. One from Andrew, who's five, and one from Joanne Kennedy, who's four. I think that's great. He's got a red nose. And the last one is James Stockton from uh, Wyvernbury Dells in Cheshire. And I think that's a nice, very nice drawing. Lovely. Would you like to see some more? Some are famous like Rudolph the reindeer It's sometimes very difficult It sometimes makes you sad Well, you'd like to be just like him And one day be as famous It's hard to follow in the footsteps of your dear old dad Well, you want to work for Father Christmas with the other you want to fly through Christmas skies of pull-ins and a sledge Ah, but growing up just takes so long You find you get impatient Even though you look like Rudolph and your nose is red Oh, Robert the reindeer felt so sad He wandered and was like his dear old dad But all he had Upon his head were two little bombs, each side instead. Oh, Robert got some branches and tied them on his head. But both of them fell up the very first time they got long. Oh, perhaps if I could keep the bumps, won't they grow out more quickly? So to help his antlers go, he borrowed someone's song. None of the others understood his plight The other reindeer only laughed and said Look at silly Robert with the socks on his head Oh, Robert the reindeer, he went to see his dad And asked him how long it would be before his antlers grew All the reindeer lose their antlers once a year, said Rudolph so yours will grow along with theirs, I always thought you knew. So that's the way that Robert got real antlers of his own. And helping Father Christmas with the others, he's glad. For he's the same as all the other reindeer, only smaller. He's following in the footsteps of his dear old man. Following the footsteps of his dear old man. Hey, 
you guess who I am? <laughs> <laughs> Nose the red nose to whatever. I'll make it disappear. Go on, Very good! Fantastic! Dante! 